Good morning, dear students. I am Leda, your science teacher. Welcome back to our science class. That is chapter 5, Separation of Substances, part 6. Last class, we have already studied that, the distillation and condensation. Hope all of you understood that topic well. If you are having any doubt, please mention it in the comment box. Then students, today we will learn the next topic that is about solution on solubility. Our next topic is solutions and solubility. Last chapter we have already studied that solubility, solution, solute and solvent. The substance which dissolve in water are called soluble substance. For example, we already studied sugar, salt etc. After dissolving, well, we will get a solution of that substance. Then what is solubility? The property of a substance due to which dissolves in water or any other liquid is called solubility. A solution is defined as a uniform homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Here salt, all particles are same, sugar also, they are homogeneous. Then what are the characteristics of a solution? We can say that the solution is uniform in nature, homogeneous. After looking, after dissolving sugar or salt, we can the solution is in uniform. There is no difference there because the all particles are same. We cannot see any particles or substances there. Second, the particles of the substances are not visible to the naked eye. We cannot see any particles inside after dissolving it. A solution has two parts, solute and solvent. In case of salt solution, salt is the solute and water is the solvent. In a solution, the solute is the minor portion, but solvent is the major portion. Water is called a universal solvent. Why? You know it very well. Because most of the substances dissolve in water. When we are taking one glass of water and adding one or two spoons of salt or sugar, it will dissolve completely. But when we are adding more salt or sugar, it will not dissolve. Then we can see salt particles separately in water. The solute stops dissolving in a fixed amount of water is called saturated solution. A solution in which more solute can be dissolved is called unsaturated solution. Next, how to prepare a saturated solution of salt water and determine its approximate solubility? We can learn this with the help of a simple activity. First, we have to take some materials like beaker, 100 ml of water, salt, spoon. What we have to do? First, take 100 ml of water in the beaker. Add 5 gram of salt. 5 gram means 1 teaspoon of salt. And stir it well. You know, it will dissolve completely. Add another 5 gram of salt and stir it well. Repeat the process where that salt does not dissolve and we can see the salt particles. Then we can note down how many spoons of salt make the solution saturated. We are adding more and more salt in this one glass of water or beaker, it will not dissolve. Then solubility is equal to amount of salt completely dissolved by volume of water. This activity shows an approximate value of solubility. The exact value of salt we cannot measure in this process. Students watch all videos and go through the assignments and write down answers in the fair notebook. For getting this chapter you have to open August month in school website not chapter 5. Then please note down the questions. Question number 1. Why is water a universal solvent? Question number 2. Distinguish between saturated and unsaturated solution. Thank you. Have a nice day.